Today we're going to do a trick where we make a cylinder fall slower than we would expect from gravity. So let's take a cylinder and see what happens. Okay, well that one went pretty quickly. Um, let's see if we can come up with a trick using physics to make the cylinder fall slower. So what we're going to do is consider that we have a magnet um, as our cylinder. And of course a magnet has uh, field lines that are kind of coming up out of the North Pole and entering the South Pole. And we say that it has a magnetic field pointing uh, upward direction. Now if we were to drop this magnet through an electrically conductive loop, then what would happen? Well, let's consider it above the loop first. As a magnet falls through the loop, the amount of, of magnetic field inside this loop will be increasing. And what will happen is an electrical current will be generated in this loop, which uh, generates a magnetic field that wants to oppose this magnetic flux increase. So we're going to get an induced mag magnet um, in this current loop pointing in the opposite direction. Um, you can kind of figure out the direction here using the right hand rule and so I've kind of drawn in the, the current here which is entering over here and going around like this giving us this this uh, opposite uh, this in induced magnetic field. Now um, what would happen is this falling magnet would be slowed because it's being repelled by a magnet that's pointing in the opposite direction below. Now let's consider the magnet below the loop. Um, so now it's below the loop and what would be happening is the magnetic flux through the loop would be decreasing and we're going to get uh, an electric current induced in this loop that would want to oppose this decrease. Okay, this is Lenz's law, and, and we always get an, an, an opposition to, the, to the, the change in magnetic flux. So it's going to be in the opposite uh, direction here. So here what we would do is we would get an induced magnetic field in the same direction as B in order to um, oppose this decrease of magnetic flux. So you could kind of use the right-hand rule and see that this current should be traveling in this direction. The falling magnet would then be slowed um, as it's going below the loop because uh, we have, it would be attracted to the induced magnetic um, moment above, the induced magnet, magnet above. So this is going to be want to be attracted up. So in both cases, we have... Um, when you're above or below the loop, you're going to have this, uh, this force that's pushing it up. So now let's consider that we have a magnet that we're dropping through a electrically conducting tube. So this is a cross-section of this tube. On top, we're going to have a force uh, pointing up. We're attracted to the current loops above. And on the bottom, we're going to have our magnet repelled from the opposite magnetic uh, induced field caused from the currents moving in the opposite direction. So that's also a force up. So when we go to look at this, we see that we have forces both on the top and on the bottom of this magnet that are opposing gravity. And therefore, we would expect that the magnet will fall slower through our um, conductive tube based on this force that's opposing gravity. So let's go um, see if we can now make this happen. So remember our first uh, cylinder um, just fell very quickly through here, but now I have a cylinder that's the same type of cylinder here. And what I can do is, uh, but of course I know a secret, which is this, this, although it looks the same, has a magnet inside. So now let's look and see what happens if we drop this magnet through this tube. And as we said, we think there's going to be a force that's pushing it up. as It's going down. So as it falls, we see it slowly falling. 
and finally into the can. So, um, so here we are able to make something that's kind of like an anti-gravity uh, chamber here, and um, we're able to make a magnet fall through a conducting tube uh, at slower than we would expect from gravity. So it's uh, not magic, it's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.